Are you one of those parents who's forever nagging your kids to wash their hands and try not to get the clothes dirty? Our next guests want you to just chill out and relax a bit. On Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking messy play with Michelle Pratt and Jen Sievers. Good morning to you both. Hi. Good morning. Michelle, let's start with you. Um, messy play, why is it so important? Messy play is so much fun, and that's the emphasis that needs to be placed on messy play but it's great for brain development the neurons within your brain it's creativity there's sensitivity there's all sorts of fun things there's a nice big mess to clean up at the end of course <laughs> but it's fun yeah and speaking of that Jen do you, do you tend to sort of avoid messy play at home I must admit that I do I think that <laughs> having, having a preschooler at home my house is always on the edge of chaos and one extra <laughs> mess to clean up just seems, seems a little bit too hard yeah that's that's definitely it isn't it is that there's so much mess all of the time that just that extra bit could be yeah I am totally hearing what you're saying. Uh, but Michelle, tell me about the messy play that you do at New Shoots Early Childhood Centres. Oh, messy play is a fundamental part of what we do. Obviously, each age range has different experiences because there's different things that are appropriate at the age ranges. But, you know, you can mess it up. The buildings are designed for children to make a mess. So you can hose kids down, you can be out in the playground, you can be inside. It's fun. It's yeah. great. Yeah. And this is why we're all glad you do it at your place and not at ours. <laughs> looking at this, there's, there's some serious mess going on there, isn't it? But it is so much, it gives the kids so much joy, doesn't it? Mm. So Jen, what is your preschool to get out of messy play? I think if, when I am brave enough to give it a try, what actually happens is if I just step back and let go, she, her imagination fires up. She, in the space of a few minutes, she turns from a scientist to an artist to a chef. And I think that level of sort of trust and autonomy is really big for a five-year-old. Mm. It is, and it's certainly something that is, uh, I remember using, I used to carve pieces of clay out of another bit of clay for hours on end and get mud everywhere, but loved it as a kid, mm. absolutely loved it. Uh, Michelle, what are some unexpected benefits from messy play? Well, really, I think what people don't realise is that the neurons in your brain develop at such an early age and the connectivity, and through messy play, there are so many connections that happen in your brain that you don't really realise. And even though it's, it's quite a scientific complex to understand, but through a simple activity and messy play, this builds on that neuron development. Wow, that is fascinating. Mm. I think because as a lot of parents do have that momentary sort of shiver when they think of messy play, then they feel bad because <laughs> they're not giving their kids that at home. There are other places you can do it, of course. Um, but you have started using um, the recipes from the messy play book with your daughter, haven't you? I have, yes. So what have you seen in her? What changes? I think one of the main things is that it's kind of given her confidence to, she sort of leads her own learning when she's doing it. Um, she sort of sees mum's let go of control. I can, I can try what I want to. And I think it's kind of helped her embrace the idea of learning. She's starting school soon, so I think that's going to put her in good stead for moving forward. Yeah, it gives her some confidence to sort of Absolutely. try things out on her own. Yeah. So Michelle, uh, we've talked about messy play and how you know it's great and we all <laughs> love it, but it's very messy. So what are some <laughs> tips for messy play at home then? Oh, it's preparation. There's one good tip that I'd always say. If, you, if you're in doubt of where to start, start in the bath. Use the bath. You can always hose it down, you can clean it out, you can put paint, you can put goop, you can put glue, it doesn't stick. You can generally, it's pretty simple. So if you want to start, start in the bath. Uh, the next tip I'd say is um, tarpaulins. <laughs> A great tarpaulin. <laughs> Stick it out somewhere. Try and keep it out of the lounge yeah. and especially well, off the cream sofa. Or well, maybe outside. That's <laughs> yeah, place, outside is fantastic. Yeah, because yeah. you can exactly hose them down but they yeah. get so much pleasure out of A it. A bucket and a flannel. A <laughs> bucket and a flannel. Hey, thank you so much. And old clothes. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. Coffee Group is brought to you by Anne Mum Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. If you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor is going to win this very cool ebook from Anne Mum. Congratulations to this week's winner. Wow, isn't this the coolest ebook? It really is. <laughs> this week's winner is Mary Rose McKee. You can put your own, your own voice in it. Now, your ebook is on its way.